Welcome back to Tammy Lee TV and today I'm going to show you how to work out with one set of dumbbells. When you only have one set of dumbbells, you need to use various rep schemes and get kind of a little bit creative with your workout so that the big muscle groups can still get the work they need and the smaller muscle groups aren't taxed too much. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can do a full body workout with just one set of dumbbells and you're going to be able to get everything that the muscles need. So like you're gonna get your quads worked, your hamstrings, your glutes, we're gonna work the chest, the back, shoulders, biceps, and triceps, and I'm gonna show you, and core, and I'm gonna show you how you can get this done with one set of dumbbells. The moves in today's workout are complex. So we're using a lot of joints, a lot of different muscles, all at the same time. At any point that you struggle today during this workout, just put the weights down and then work on your form. Speaking of putting the weights down, let me put these down and we'll get warmed up. If you haven't started your activity tracker, you're going to want to do that now and set it for strength because this is a strength workout, obviously. <laughs> That's why we have the dumbbells. By the way, my dumbbells are eight pounds. So that's what I'm using today. So I'm gonna show you, it's a mid range. I'm gonna show you how you can actually work your quads and get them nice and strong and also still work on the upper body and get that strong too, but using various rep schemes and compound movements and complex exercises just to make it a little more challenging when you need it. Okay, let's kick to the front. This is just a quick warm up to warm up the muscles, warm up the body. And my mat is already going sideways. <laughs> okay, let's warm up those hamstrings, kick yourself in the ass, pull the arms back so you get the chest and shoulders and back warm as well. Let's add a little squat. And march, big deep breath over the head. Big reach. Let's do it again. Awesome. Let's do some squats up and down. Here we go. So squat, just half squats. Up and down, warm up those leg muscles a bit more. And we're going to do some reverse lunges because we have those in our program. Let me fix my mat first. So reverse lunges, step it back, arms come forward. Whoa, get your balance. Okay, awesome. Now we're gonna get down the floor. Little cat cow. So round the back. And then extend. Round and extend. That feels so good. Okay, awesome. Excellent. Okay, let's get up on our toes and do just a couple push-ups, or you can do them from your knees, whatever. Just nice and easy, couple push-ups. We're just warming up. Now we're warming up the upper body. One more. Okay, awesome. Now on your belly, we'll do a few supermans. Arms and legs up, keeping the core nice and stiff. Awesome, okay, let's 
come up on our hands and knees, and we're gonna do a few reach throughs. So we're gonna twist our arm, reach it up like this, and then reach through like that. Just a couple on each side. One more. And switch to the other side. Off my mat again. Two more. One more. All right, awesome. Let's put our hands on the ground, tuck our toes under, come up into a down dog. Pedal of the legs. Walk your hands towards your feet. Roll yourself up. Round the shoulders at the top. And now we're going to get started. So the first exercise we're going to do is a squat, a front squat with an overhead press. This will work your quads, your glutes, your core, and your shoulders, and your upper back. Take your dumbbells, and you want to hold them right here like this. So they're not resting on your shoulders, they're in front, and you want to keep the elbows down so you're not up like that. Keep the elbows down, and have your hands like they're, your hand, your, your hand is resting over your elbow joint like that, so it's nice and stable, okay, like this. And you're already gonna feel your upper back, your upper back, your shoulders, and your chest already working just to hold that weight there just like this. You're also gonna feel your core. So you wanna brace your core, nice stiff spine, and we're gonna squat down. So you're gonna have to take whatever squat stance you want. It's if you wanna go wide, if you wanna go narrow, whatever feels comfortable with you because all our hips are, everybody's hips are different. So you gotta find the stance that works for you. I'm gonna keep mine about hip width apart. And then you're going to squat down like this and then come back up like that. We're going to do a bunch of those and then we're going to press over our head as well. Oh, I should have told you that part. So we go down like this and then come up and then we're going to press over our head. We're going to do a lot of these, a lot of reps. And we're going to continue to press over our head until we can't press over our head anymore. And then we'll just continue with the front squat. So the legs, the weight isn't heavy enough to challenge the legs, but it's heavy enough to challenge the upper body. So here we go. Get ready, get set, go. So down and press. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, getting heavy on the shoulders, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Twelve. Now hold it here and let's keep squatting. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Keep going. We're going to twenty. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Awesome. Okay, take a little break. Now you should notice <laughs> that you just got a whole big like burn, right? So your shoulders, your chest maybe, your upper back, uh, your quads, and your heart rate is probably up there. Take a little rest. We're gonna do that again. Two sets. If you find that it wasn't enough for your legs, what you can do is just put the weights down by your side like this. So you let the upper body relax and you continue to do your squats or you can drop the weights and continue to do the squats body weight. Okay, let's do that again. Another set, this time I'll face you. Whew, okay, assume the position. Get ready, here we go. Squat, and then press. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you find your shoulders are taxed now, eight, you don't have to keep pressing over your head. Nine, you can just hold them. 10, or even put them down by your side. 11, last time over the head. 12, hold them here and keep squatting. 13, 14, 15, 16, Ooh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, you can continue squatting if you want, like this. Okay, if you want to, or you can stop. Rest. Next up, we're doing two sets of every exercise I show you today, by the way, but a lot of reps. And the rep scheme is gonna change depending on what we're doing. So we did 12 for the overhead, and then another eight for the front squat. So we ended up with 20 reps for the squats, but 12 reps for the shoulders. See how that works? Okay, next up is a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So here you will get biceps, the whole entire leg. So you're gonna get glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves, like everything from the waist down, and core. Because when we do this, we have to keep a stiff spine, stiff core, I mean, a neutral spine, and we step back. So we really have to brace so we get core, biceps, and legs. When we step back, we curl like that, and then we come back down like that. So curl, and then back. So grab those weights, get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, whoa, my balance, four, Five, six, seven. Keep the arms still while you're doing this. Eight, so you're only bending at the elbow joint. Nine, not at the shoulder joint. 10, 11, 12. I feel that we could do more curls. 13, if not, then you can put them away. 14, 15, you can just let your arms relax, I mean. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now keep the weights down by your side and keep going. We're gonna do one, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Take a little break. We'll do that again. So that one gave you 30 lunges, 30 reverse lunges in total, so 15 per leg. And we've got 20 bicep curls out of that one. That's a lot for the arms. But um, with the shoulders, it's my shoulders are weak, so that's a lot. 12 reps over the head is a lot for me, but for my biceps, my biceps are fairly strong and I can do more. So you just increase the reps. You gotta go by feel. So if you're doing a workout and you only have one set of dumbbells, you might have to do 20 or 30 reps for some exercises, and then other exercises, you may only have to do like 10 or 12 or less, or more, or whatever. You have to go by feel. When to know if it's enough is you can still do the rep, you can still move, but it becomes challenging. So the, like, the last couple of reps are challenging. Okay, here we go. So you have to challenge yourself or you're not gonna make change, right? Let's do this again. Whew. Step back, starting now. One. Two, three, four, five, six. I will 
face you for a few. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen, nice and strong. Seventeen. Feeling those biceps. Eighteen. See? This is it. Nineteen. Starting to feel it, right? Twenty. Awesome. Hold the weights. Keep going. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Excellent. Okay, the next set we have to get on the floor for. This next exercise is going to work our glutes, so our bum, our hamstrings, our core, but also our chest. So we're going to do bridge flies. A lot is going to happen here. I have to move my mat to make more room. Okay. Now, take your weights, lay on the floor. So we're going to do a fly, chest fly, okay? But we're going to bring our bum up when we squeeze the weights together. So down when we open, up when we squeeze. When that, when the chest has had enough, we're gonna put our weights on our hip like this, on our, on our belly like this, and we're gonna lift up like that. Okay, and then back down. Actively squeeze your glutes during this whole exercise so you can really engage them and get them to work. Get ready, put the weights over your chest, not your face. You want them over your chest because you're flying, um, you're squeezing over your chest like that, okay? And then we're gonna lift as we squeeze. So take whatever stance you want with your feet that feels comfortable. Get ready. Whew. Here we go, start here, open, Lift and squeeze like that. Open and lift. That's two, three, four, five. Bring those weights as close to the ground as possible. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, feeling like I can go more in the chest. If you can't, that's okay. You can stop there and put them on the hips. 13, 14, and keep going with the bridges. This is 15. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. 16, 17, I do have a strong chest. 18, 19, one more, 20, okay? Now, take these weights, put them on your hips, and let's keep going with the bridges. Let's, I'm going to cue you to make this a little harder, so we're gonna have less time in the down, more time in the squeeze, here we go. Squeeze, hold it, and down and up, two, down and up, three, four, good squeeze, five, Push those feet into the ground. Six. Keep the knees open. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's go for five more. Five. Four. Three. Feeling it out. Two. Last one. Good. Awesome. So that's 35 bridges. And we did 20. Uh, flies. So as you can see, had to feel it out. If I would have stopped at 20 bridges, when I stopped my chest, it wouldn't have been enough for my glutes. It's not, fitness isn't about the number. 
It's about the feel. You have to feel it out. You have to become in tune with your body. Understand what you're feeling. Make sure you're working the muscle, the target muscle. So you should be feeling this in the glutes, not, you know, in other places. Work the target muscle. Feel it in the target muscle. And also, that is what should be guiding you. The numbers are just, they don't mean anything. The number isn't going to get you fit. It's the intrinsic intensity the engagement that you're able to do with your brain to your body that's going to help you get fit okay let's do this again up we're going to fly and then we're going to lift and we're going to do the bridges at the same time here we go so open and close as you lift one two three Squeezing those glutes, four, and your chest, remember engagement, five, think about the muscles, six, seven, I know it's a lot you're doing, eight, but just concentrate, nine, ten more flies, and ten more bridges, nine, keep going, we have eight more, Six more. Focus. Four more flies and more bridges after that. Okay, two more for the flies. One more. Now put the weights on the hips and continue to lift. Here we go. 15 more reps. That's three, I mean two. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeezing those glutes. Eleven. Keep the knees wide. Twelve. Thirteen. Woohoo! Feeling that. Fourteen. One more. 15, bam, there you go. You just did 70 reps, 70 bridges, and you did 40 chest lies. So think about that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. We have rows, a plank row to do. This is great because you get your plank, which is a full body exercise, really focuses on your core. So core stability and pelvic stability. So you gotta keep your spine in a nice, stiff, neutral position, no movement, and we are going to row. So we're going to, it looks like this. So we're in this position, nice, strong plank position, okay, from your head to your toe, and then we're going to take our legs nice and wide, and we're gonna pull one arm up like this, and then down, and then the other arm. If you find that too difficult, you can drop to your knees and do it like this. So you can go into table and row from here, or you can take this position, drop down, and then row from here as well. Okay, assume your position. This is probably gonna be a quick one. Get ready, get set, get into plank, whichever one it is, nice wide stance, and here we go. Try not to shift your body when you're rowing, okay? What I mean by that is twist. Try not to do this, so we don't wanna twist our body like this when we row. We want to keep it as square to the ground as possible. Remember, no movement in that spine. By the way, that's six. This is seven. Eight, we want to keep the pelvis and the spine nice and square or stiff. That's ten, nine. Uh, ten, I think I lost track, but it doesn't matter. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, oh yeah, this is a really good one. 15, 16, okay, now just hold it. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Ah, oh, take a little break. Whew, okay, good job. Nice work. We're gonna do that again. What I was trying to relate to you is not to be switching, twisting your body when you're doing that. 
Practice stiff core engagement, stiff trunk. So try not to have everything shifting around. It takes a lot more work and makes the exercise a lot more challenging and it's better for your back and your spine. <sighs> Big deep breath. Okay, let's do that again. Assume the position, plank, whichever one you want, knees or toes. Nice and wide stance, that helps us balance. And let's row. One, we gotta hold it up there because Two, we need to squeeze the back. Three, you need to think about your back muscles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more to go. Nine, ten, six more to go. Eleven. Twelve, four more to go. Thirteen. Fourteen, two left. Fifteen, one more. Sixteen, okay, now you're gonna hold this here. Hold it for ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, we have one exercise left. Whew, that one made me sweat. <laughs> We're gonna lay on our back for this last one, and this gets our triceps and more core and some more legs. First, we hammer away at the triceps, and then we're gonna add the legs. Okay, so, two arm tricep extension. So your arms are up like this, and you bend down like that, and then bring it up like this. So you keep your shoulder joint very quiet and you only move at the elbow joint, okay? So no movement in the shoulder joint for this particular exercise. Add your core by bringing your legs up like this and just find a position where your knees are over your hips, but find a position where it challenges you, but your back does not pop off the floor. So we don't want that to happen. We wanna keep neutral spine, make it stiff so it stays in the one spot and then put, bring your feet up, and that should be working. You should feel that working already. So we're gonna bring the weights up, and we're gonna hold those legs while we do that extension with our arms. Get ready, let's go. So slow down with this, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, focus. Six on the back of the arms, seven and your core. Keep it, keep it nice and stiff. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, fifteen. Now bring the weights together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let them come over our head like this, and we're gonna pull, and we're gonna bring our knees forward. And then we're gonna push them away like this and pull in like this. Here we go. One, two, so we're still getting triceps. Three, still working the core. Four, and now we're adding more leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Ten, two more. 11, 12, I lied, three more, 13, 14, 15, awesome. Okay, that one was 15 and 15. So you end up with a whole great big set of 30 reps. But again, you can see how we start with the triceps and then we go to the long, the pullovers, which work a lot of muscles, and then we add the legs. You can also do that one in reverse as well. <sighs> Little break. This is our last exercise, and then we get to stretch, and you just did a full body workout. <sighs> 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 
Get ready. Legs up. Arms up. Here we go. Last time. One. Two. Focus. Three. Nice and steady and control. Four. Don't let those weights fall down. Five. Make sure you're lowering them. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Bring the weights together and here we go. Pullovers. Lower and then pull. One. Two, three, four. Don't let that back pop off the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three. Two, last one, awesome. Okay, now we get to stretch. Okay, let's start with a nice big deep breath. I hope you enjoyed that workout today. Again. Perfect. Bring the soles of our feet together and let's just do some circles. So now you learned how you can work out with one set of dumbbells just by changing the rep scheme and also doing complex exercises. So that means exercises that use more than one joint. So those were pretty complex moves that we did today. Let's bring the legs out straight and stretch the hamstrings. Big deep breath and fold on the out breath. Hmm. And then come up. Let's bring one leg across like this and then twist into it. Sitting nice and tall. And now the other side. And then back to center. Let's bring the legs like this and we're going to stretch our quads. If you want to go deeper, you can come up into this position. And release. Let's switch to the other side. Same thing. Take this position, or you can come up into this position. Breathing nice and deep into your belly. Excellent. Let's come back down, sit comfortable, whatever that is for you, and let's stretch our shoulders. So we'll bring the arm across like this. You can hold this stretch or you can go into eagle. Again, breathing deep into your belly. Take the arm that you just stretched across, bring it up and let's stretch the tricep. <laughs> and 
And now let's do the same thing to the other arm across the body like this, or you can do eagle. Bring that arm up and stretch the tricep. Let's reach across the body like this so you stretch your side body. <sighs> Feels good. And now on the other side. And then let's get our chest. So bring the arms back and then behind, lace your fingers. Press them to the ground as you open up that chest. Create space between the shoulders. And then release. Bring your hands forward, lace the fingers, push away, run that back, drop the head. sit back up. We're going to take a deep breath up. Bring your wrists out. Your, flick your hands out like that so you're bending your wrists and then keep them bent like that as you bring them down. You'll feel that stretch in the bicep on the way down. Right there. Feel that? Nice stretch. Oh. Yeah. Let's do that again. Oh. Right there. Hold it just for a couple of seconds. Nice and slow, bring it down. Oh yeah, let's round those shoulders. Let our head fall to one side, turn our chin towards our shoulder. Press the opposite hand away from the floor. Big deep breath, bring the hand back up. Head back to center, tilt to the other side. Turn and press. Big deep breath in. Back up, head to center. Just move your head around a little bit. And now you can slouch. Oh, great job, nice work today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of new uploads. And don't forget to check out my website, gofitlife.ca, as I build an online fitness program, as I build online fitness programs there, and an online platform for learning about how to build fitness and other things such as weight loss and training plans for running and cycling and all kinds of other good stuff there. And I also have a blog section too, so check that out. Anyway, gofitlife.ca, subscribe to my channel and like this video. And please comment in the section below and let me know if you like what I'm doing. Okay, that's it. Happy training. Bye for now.